Hey what's up guys Martin Unix here and welcome again guys to my YouTube channel. Guys today we are going to do 3 in 1 meaning that uh, we are going to combine three styles. Guys we are going to do lock knots, flat barrels and barrel rolls. So welcome guys. We are going to do search on lengthy dreadlocks. I understand that uh, guys we have been learning a lot. So today we are going to combine the three styles together and thank you guys for staying locked on the channel keep on subscribing like my work comment and share to your friends welcome all right welcome guys these are my lengthy dreadlocks so uh, just to highlight on what we are about to do guys we are going to do some lock knots at the at the nape area then we are going to do a uh, flat barrels at the crown area towards the center part where now we are going to do a bulk burn the bulk burn guys is gonna consist of uh, barrel rolls so work with me guys as I show you on how to come up with this uh, three in one style at the nape area we are going to do the lock knots and how do we come up with such guys we quickly begin by identifying the size of our lock knots uh, depending on the length of the lock strands. On my case guys, I'm gonna pick my lock strand and wrap it against my fingers towards the nape area, that way. Then this will be the size of my lock knots according to, le to the length of my lock strands. So remember guys, the length will differ and the lock knots will be of different length according to the volume of the log strands as well as the, the length so let's begin guys it's the way to go about it just pick your strand and wrap it around that way in a clockwise manner it's kind of doing a barrel roll whereby guys usually do, draw a 360 degree horizontal pin while working backwards that way, wrap your strands in totality. That way, guys, hold the way back. Now, upon reaching the the hand, guys, you realize that uh, at the start I folded my strand, then by creating a loop, and uh, I'm gonna use that loop as my securing point. That way, I'm gonna pick my tip. So to certain level, guys, I will not let the tip come out, just leave it at that point, that way. This is another unique way of securing the lock knots without using rubber bands. So I'm going to do another lock knot just for the sake of our beginners, guys, let's work together. Let's do the second one. Guys, don't skip the video. Keep watching. That way. Identify. Begin by identifying the size of your lock knot. On my case, it's gonna go around my four fingers. That way. The nape area. Then I'm gonna wrap it in a clockwise manner. While working backwards. Guys, Kindly support my channel by sharing my work. Like, comment positively, guys, and join membership. If you are able, guys, you can join membership on my YouTube channel. So just wrap your strand in totality. That way, you can adjust a little bit to create room for more rounds if the strand seems to be getting finished. That way all the way back upon reaching the hand guys pick your crochet put it through the loop pick your strand to certain length pull it and leave it at that level you see now during the undoing process guys you'll just pick the tip here and pull it it will come out out with easiness that way so we are going to do the rest of the strands same way we have just done these two strands here very lovely you can have a look guys 
okay we have done our lock knots guys you can have a look this is very beautiful guys you can have a look very nice you just need to align your lock strands that is uh, you, you need to align your lock knots at the nape area then as you climb up once guys make sure you draw that V you know while directing your lock knots towards the center that way now uh, just for the sake of our beginners guys I've just let, left out one strand so that we can all together revisit what I was just doing so let's do this lock knot all together guys remember to subscribe like my work and share to your friends so guys just fold the lock knot remember we said as we began that uh, you identify the length of the lock knots depending uh, that is the length eh? the length the, the length of the lock knot you identify the length of le the lock knot depending on the length of the lock strand on my case depending on the le length of my lock strand i'm gonna wrap around my four fingers this will be the size of my lock knot. Upon wrapping around, guys, I'll just uh, slowly wrap the lock strand in a clockwise manner against the strands which have just been folded. That way, I'm gonna wrap it all the way to the back. Now upon reaching the back, guys, you realize that uh, we had left a loop here. So we are going to use the loop as our stopper. Pull in the remaining teeth to a certain length that way. Don't let it come out, guys. Just leave it at that level. Then you can adjust a little bit to affirm the the securing area so that the lock knot can't run with the time that way so and these are my lock knots guys you can have a look how they have come out very lovely and they they are creating that letter v towards the center that way guys so let's do part two of our styling which will consist of flat barrel lines now part two consists of flat barrel lines so guys this is the way to go about it i understand that uh, we have given other tutorials about the barrel lines and uh, today i'm going to repeat once more guys since we have beginners on this channel so you begin by picking the first strand pick the next strand roll it over the first strand guys intertwine the two strands together while working backwards put additional strands and make a barrel line which lies flat on the skull surface all the way back that way guys then upon reaching certain point guys just secure your strand using one of the barrels secure loosely guys that way and just to give a touch of style on female clients guys i'm gonna curve the lines at the beginning a little bit just to give my style another touch that way pick your strands i'm gonna go a little bit faster guys since i understand that uh, we have been lots of we have been doing lots of flat barrels that way fold your sections towards the center that way then use one of the swans to secure ah, okay wanna pick the next section let your sections create that curve just to to beautify your your styling and make sure that your lines are directed towards the center since we are going to come up with a bulk burn 
and I'm gonna elaborate more on part three. So since we are on part two, I'm not going to talk about the burn. Let's quickly finish the barrel lines, the flat barrel lines. So guys, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my work, comment and share to your friends. So that's how you pick your barrel lines. Just curve your lines towards the center to give your style a touch, a touch of style that is. So I'm gonna pick the remaining section. This is my remaining section, guys. Drop it. That way. All the way to the center part. I'm gonna secure. Right, guys, now we are done with the flat barrel lines. You can have a look. I've just carved my lines to the center part. And they are so nice. Guys, this is very official. And I understand that uh, the flat barrel lines are going to complement my, my burn. So we are going to do a bulk burn, which can closely rhyme, rhyme with the, the lock notes at the uh, nape area. So guys, you need to put into consideration the bulkiness here should be implicated same on the burn. So let's do the, the burn right away. All right. So I'm gonna showcase or now we can come up with a Barrero section and uh, understand that uh, there are more tutorials or there are more tutorials on such on my channel guys you can revisit the channel for such so guys barrel rolls are usually formed by wrapping the strands around in a 360 degree horizontal field that will make sure your sections complete a 360 degree then the first few strands i will wrap them in totality that way the first three or two strands it depends on my case guys i will wrap the first three strands in totality that way then after doing the first three strands the rest i'll make sure that uh, i balance them in a way that uh, can come up with a barrel roll section which looks diminished but the diminishing part guys doesn't look so much stiff so guys now we are doing a barrel roll for those who want to know more about the barrel rolls guys you can visit the channel for such there are many uh, tutorials on how to come up with barrel rolls upon reaching this part guys now I'm gonna secure my barrel at this section So on this case guys, I've used two stones to secure, but I'm gonna reinforce that using my yarn. So I'm gonna reinforce my ending tip, that is the securing point using yarn. That way. Now guys, I'm through with the barrel roll sections. You can have a look guys, how 
barrels are closely priming with the block nuts. So since now guys I'm through with the barrel rods, we are going to do the bulk burn. And by doing so guys, I will be doing the locked up barrel roll burn. That's the burn which can only bring this bulkness up here. So let's do that all together guys. I understand guys you can recall how we did the locked up barrel roll burn and uh, I was the first one to bring this kind of style. So guys we are going to lock up the sections together that way. Sorry, I'm gonna go stop just for the sake of our beginners. Just pick two sections in between them that way, letting one of the sections to come on this side, the other one the other side. That way. Now pick this section which has just come on this side and lock it up, lock the next section and the sequence guys continues that way, the sequence continues, just lock up your sections. might look tedious but it's the best way guys the best way you know to manage this kind of burn that way all the way to the back upon reaching this area guys you realize that uh, during the starting point guys one of the barrels usually leave behind a loop where now we are going to lock up the the final barrel. So now guys just mold your your barrels by pulling them upwards that way to your desired level of circumference. Right guys let's do the second layer since now we have done the first layer let's do the second layer very simple guys it's kind of repetition we just interlock the stones together that way all the way to, the, to this area then hook the final section on doing so guys just adjust your strands to your desired look that way. Guys, now we have adjusted the barrels and uh, just to manage the final section guys because I'm gonna do three sections. I had separated one of the strands from the rest since I realized that uh, the circumference was a little bit larger. Now this section I'm gonna just disguise it inside here. Since we had created a room, you can disguise the section inside the, the bun that way. Now let's do the final section. Now this brings our locked up barrel roll bun into completion. So lock up the final section. It's quite simple. Just follow the locking up pattern. That way. Make sure all the sections lock up. This level might be a little bit difficult, but try as much as possible to mold the section together. Now, after locking up the barrels, adjust them a little bit. Some of the barrels are very tiny, so just spot them guys and try and pull them. Adjust them a little bit that way. Ensure you fold all this, the remaining strands, because this will be our securing point. And uh, we want to make sure that uh, our yarn passes through the, all the sections.
challenges to secure in totality. Now this becomes much easier since now the barrels are locking up from the veins. We just need to secure at the top, the tips that is. Alright guys, this is our final outlook. You can have a look guys on our voluminous, our lock nodes at the nape area are bringing, are coming out. And the band guys well resembles the lock nodes. It's very voluminous guys. We had to come up with a bulk band. And through that guys we did a locked up barrel roll band. And the base guys we did the barrel the flat barrel lines it's wow it's wonderful guys i tell you guys this style is a bomb it has moved me as a stylist it's a nice look guys you can try out this one for our pro stylists guys this is a high opener for our beginners this is an amazing look guys that you can keep trying you need to learn how to do the three styles that is the lock the lock knots, the flat barrels, and the barrel rolls. Then you can combine the three styles, guys, all together to come up with a style which is harmonious. Our style, guys, is well balanced. All the factors are complementing. So lovely. Thank you, guys, for choosing to watch my tutorial to the end. I hope, guys, my tutorial was informative very educative actually and uh, I promise to bring more tutorials as time comes by guys like my work comment and share to your friends kindly support the channel by joining membership so stay locked on the channel guys and thank you